but uh, what I want to do today is just kind of, oh, he's got hay in his mouth, hang on. <laughs> Come here, Farmer Giles. Come here, can we? I want to do is kind of have a feel of him. I don't want to come out here with expectations. Um, so first thing I want to do is feel, is he off my leg? So do I, am I having to nag him forwards? That's the first thing. Now I can take my leg off him. And just like Avalon, he's pretty good. You know, for four, he's pretty good. And if he starts to come back, if I lose his tension, I can just touch him with the leg. I'll just remind him with the tickle of, the, of my schooling whip. <coughs> and he's pretty amenable about being asked to go forward. So next is, have I got any softness? So I'm going to just feel his mouth and see if I've got any yield in his jaw. Actually, I've been doing that as I've been asking him to go forward. And, and he feels really good. All I'm doing is just very, very gently massaging the corners of his mouth to feel if he's just going to mm, jaw me, like Avalon sometimes does on the right, on, on the, in my right hand. She'll sometimes just lock. Uh, he's not doing that at all. He's like that. Okay. So now I'm going to start to move the neck around. And I want to feel what I've got in the walk. He's flexing to the outside quite happily. And the inside. Good boy. That's it. Boy, let's make a change of brain. Boy. So we'll just do exactly the same with my flexions on this rein. And then we'll repeat this whole exercise in trot and in canter. So, are they off the leg? Have I got softness in the mouth? Have I got softness in the neck? Because both of those, all three of those, are essential if you want softness in the back. So, uh, ultimately, that's all, what I'm looking for, is to get softness underneath me so I can get some, some push and some, some impulsion and some power later on. He needs to be soft in the back. You won't be able to move forwards and backwards within the gate or move sideways or really do anything unless we've got these, these absolutely essential building blocks. So now, look, again, great, he's really nice. He's off my leg, steady, good boy. So I can take my leg away from him a little bit because he can be a bit lazy. I can move him, I can soften his mouth, I can flex him, good boy. I can flex him to the outside, his gaze is all right with that. Right, so then I'm going to pick up trot and let's just repeat this. I don't expect to have to ask him twice, so I'm just going to give him a feel on the outside rein. So again, first thing, is he forward? Yep. No, I'm not having to squeeze him. He doesn't look very pretty right now. So now I'm just going to feel the corners of his mouth. Because actually, he's not particularly relaxed. So I just want some relaxation in the jaw and in the neck. Good boy. I don't want to bring his head in. I just want softness. So I'm going to change the rein and move him around the arena. a bit of, he finds lateral supplements really easy, he doesn't find longitudinal supplements very easy. So I want him to just drop at the base of the neck. Just feeling his mouth, just moving his head and neck left and right. There we are, just to get a bit of yield. I'm not pulling him. When I'm moving his head and neck, 
I'm doing it from a giving hand. So I'm not pulling him to the right and giving him to the left. So he takes rather than I take. Boy. Then I just feel steady. Avalon, he's actually quite weak over his back and over his hind end because he's so squiggly through the midsection. He lacks that steady, he lacks that kind of control when he's got a rider on. hands a bit more still, start to develop a bit more contact, so he can start to come forward longitudinally, supple. I want him lower in the frame than I would ride Avalon normally, because I want to train him by opposites, good boy. He finds this hard, so this is what we're going to do. So far for me, the stumbling block that I find is his ability to soften here and lift through his back. Hey, no thanks. So he's, he's lacking a bit of longitudinal suppleness. I'm just going to pop him up into canter, but I expect to feel exactly the same thing. Laterally, he normally feels pretty good, but he finds it difficult come forwards and come up through the back. He's got long legs and he's a big horse and he's really young. So uh, I'm not surprised. Boy. weight in my hand now. Too many legs in the canter. <laughs> <laughs> 
corre struggled with forwardness in the canter. You just want to bunch up and collect all day, but it's not a proper collection. It's just, you couldn't step through. Boy, steady. Oh, oh. No, I don't want to pull you. Boy. Just make a change with me. Steady, sit up. Mega forward. So I come off his back a sec. Steady. I'm just going to give, no, it's the dogs, don't spook. I'm just going to give the contact and ask him to come down, good boy. Yeah, good, better. Go on, don't stop. Go on. Come on, just feel the mouth and then release. Steady. Boy, don't stop, boy. It's about feeling that second where he just drops off your, your edge as well. Just being there with the leg, boy. That's a great wall. Couple of feels. Steady. Nope, can't just flop back into walk. I'm just going to squeak it over. I'm going to walk him and let him have a little rest a minute. Oh. <laughs> that was hard for him. Hey, look. He does get a tap. To try and scratch his legs mid-walk because I don't ever, I don't ever want that back, you know. Hey, no. That's, that's naughty. I'm just going to walk him for a sec, but I'm not going to let him just charge around the arena like he wanted to do then. Hey, no. But he can just walk for a sec. Now, what's also important, as well as feeling kind of how forward these guys are, how supple they are, how amenable they are, and how that changes with different surfaces, different weathers, um, whether you're wearing different boots or, I don't know, um, whether you've drunk too much caffeine, all the things that can kind of affect how they feel and how you feel. It's how you feel as a rider. Now, whether you find it easier to sit a canter on the left or right rein because you're tight in one hip, um, whether or not you have tightness in your hip means you draw up through the heel, because contrary to popular belief, it's absolutely completely pointless to tell a rider to put their heels down because that tightness comes, comes from here. But um, anyway, that's what I'm rattling on. It's really important that we as riders kind of know ourselves as much as we know our horses. So if you want to you want to just ride and you're not interested in progressing and training, that's cool, you know. I'm not saying everybody has to, but if, you, if you're keen to train your horse, you have to consider yourself. So I'm going to pop him into canter on this rein again. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just I'm not going to reinvent the wheel today. I just want to come off his back in canter and just 
kind of flop him around the arena and give the contact and get some of that longitudinal suck on us from him. If I can achieve that today, oh, both reins in canter, I'm going to be happy with that. He doesn't need to do much more. He's in your baby. I don't have anything to prove today. It's always about kind of what's best for them and what's best for him is strengthening him over his back and him having the confidence to come forward and step under and lift through his back. So he's going to find that a little bit easier if he hasn't got 10 stone of me sat on him. Again, soft, pick him up in the contact, soft mouth, soft neck. Soft mouth, soft neck. If you haven't got that, don't go, don't do anything else. Is he off the leg, soft mouth, soft neck. From that, then you can start to assume that he might be a little bit softer under the back, but if you, if you tighten the mouth or tighten the neck, he's going to be tight in the back. Ready? I don't mind him being mobile, a little bit mobile through the mouth right now. He's got a little flash, but it's just there to stop extremes. So he can't just completely balk at me. But I want him to be able to move. Boy, yeah, good lad. No, no. No, is he forward? He is now. So now I can come off his back. I don't do too much of this with him because he had... He had previous form. <laughs> I didn't want to die. Boy. Now he'll invite me to pull on him because he's just going to get faster and faster. So I'm just going to check him a minute. I want him forward but not running. There we go. Better, good boy. I'm just checking in with a feel on the outside rein. It's dead easy. And then when he comes back, I'm going to give. Wait. Good. All soft, good boy. So my arms have to be soft if I want his neck to be soft. Good boy. Steady. You can just resist a bit through my thigh now. Good lad. And then give a hand. Touch with the leg. Give the hand. Boy. Well, if anyone's starting to uh, get a sandy fanny over the fact that he's going to be behind the vertical a couple of times, uh, don't worry about leaving any horrible comments. I don't care because I know, I know that I'm doing the right thing for him. There we go. And he's certainly not being held instead in an unnatural outline. There's no roll curve. He's just being ridden a little bit deeper to help strengthen him over his back. Boy. This, this works for him. Instead. There we are. Good lad. Good boys. He's a good boy. I'm just going to bring him back to trot. Done enough of that. Steady. Like that fence there. Steady. Just going to move him round in trot. Feels nice over the back though. back to where we were in the beginning. Is he forward? Is he soft in the mouth? Yep, yep. Is he soft in the neck? Yes. Now, can I stretch him? Now I can. I could not have done this five minutes ago. He wouldn't have taken the rein. Good boy. So sometimes you've got to crack a few eggs, so to speak, do things different to, 
achieve what you want to achieve. Good lad. So even though he's here now, and he's stretching, and still thinking, is he forward? Is he soft? You know, is he just evading me by stretching down? Or is he still a good boy? Is he still soft in the mouth and the neck? Let's make a change of rain. Good boy. Da, 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 dogs. Just the dogs. Happy with it. Steady. Don't plow. So he's just locked in the neck a little bit on this way. I'm just going to flex him to the inside. Good boy. any more than that. It's hard in here because it's a lot deeper than he's been used to, although it's not particularly deep. It's, uh, he's been working on turf. Turf has been hard for the last six weeks. So we'll have to condition him again to get used to working on the sand. So this is absolutely fine. Good boy. And look, he's happy. He's not even really sweating a little bit, but not very much. That's what we want, happy horses. <laughs>